All right, here we are, day five. We're going to go over a few things that we're going to be adding on today. Uh, first, foremost, we're going to talk about the AC bracket. Now, this lovely thing is the cast iron AC bracket. You know, it serves a dual function, both with the torque mount down here, as well as your condenser and everything else. Now, you can get an aluminum one. Honda sells this, but there's a small catch. The aluminum one, obviously it's a lot lighter. However, these positions here, one, two, three, four, the mount here for the pulley and the tensioner, while they're pre-drilled, they're not actually threaded. Uh, the reason this exists, uh, back in Japan, Honda had a racing series called One Make. You can basically think of it sort of like, you know, sort of stock car races. They're basically more or less factory cars with factory parts, so they weren't allowed to do drastic things to the motor mounts or drastic things to the engines. So what Honda did for this racing series, one make, is that they replaced the eight pound cast iron piece with the aluminum one. But since they weren't running air conditioning, they didn't bother drilling out the holes for the compressor. You know, it's no real big deal. They're already drilled. Just get your standard size taps, grind them out, no problem, and there you go. So don't forget about that. If you get this piece, you won't be able to install it right away if you want to run air conditioning you have to spend the whopping 20 minutes or so and cut the pieces out. Same goes for the uh, tensioner position. It's not marked, but once you mount up the pulley to it, you know, you can line it up. And it doesn't have to be exact, but just drill it, put your threads in, and you're good to go. So, putting this thing on today. Secondly, post mount. This is the post mount for the Integra. It's a lovely brand new piece. Unfortunately, we can't use it, so we are going to be swapping over our EK post mount onto the block. And lastly for the day, we're also going to be mounting our uh, alternator. So we got our two brackets for the alternator. Those will be going on today. And what I'll be doing is, as I go down the list, after I put everything in the right spec, We'll be marking all the bolts with our engine marker. That way we know that they're set, they're done, and we can move on to the next piece. So, here we go. These guys are going to go in. 35 foot pounds. up, tensioner. Now this one we gotta leave loose because it's the final tension point of the system. So just hand tight for now and when we get the whole thing in the engine bay, 
then we torque it. And if we're lucky, this will line up. Next up, post mount. And the post mount goes to 40 foot pounds. Since we we're using the original bolts from this crate motor, they've already been marked. Alternator brackets. These guys. All these guys go in with 33 foot pounds. Thirty three foot pounds for these ones as well. These ones, these two are then all right we have our almost new alternator this was a reman unit that i got about six months ago from the dealer And again, we gotta leave these guys loose because this has to be tensioned once it's on the car. So, 
AC bracket. Don't forget to drill these out. These four, the ones for the tensioner as well as the, the uh, tensioner assembly. We got our post mount and we got our alternator mounted. So that pretty much wraps it up for day five. We've got our flywheel and all those bits being sent in to get remachined and cleaned up tomorrow. So we get those in by tomorrow or so. And our next big batch of Honda parts is gonna be a pretty big batch. The head of is gonna be in that as well. So I'll make sure you do an unboxing when those come in. And when I get them in hand, we'll do another install. So see you then, part six coming up. Yeah.